welcome to this video tutorial. It's designed for students who come along to Club 3D, which is a lunchtime club um, at Manor Church of England Academy. And this is the second um, video of a three-part mini um, series designed to help you create a little car game um, where you can move a little character around um, a little 3D terrain um, with some arrow keys on your keyboard. So this is the second video um, so far. Uh, we've just created um, the, the terrain the first video was showing you how to create the terrain. In this video, we're going to create a little object that you can move around, just kind of a pizza box, simple shape that will drive around the terrain. And in the final video, um, we're going to put a, a car um, instead of that pizza box. So um, let's get started. We want to create a simple box, so that's Shift and A. Um, and we want a cube mesh. Um, and I'm going to squish it down in the Z direction. That's the blue um, axis here. So S for scale. Z um, to lock it to the, the Z axis um, and then I'm going to make it smaller in the Y direction so S and Y um, so this is going to be kind of the chassis of our car eventually um, so I'm going to make it drive forwards in the same direction as that red arrow is pointing that's the X axis um, and then it can turn um, and move and everything like that okay so at the moment we've got a game when we press P to start it and escape to finish it nothing much happens um, but Blender comes with um, a pretty impressive physics engine that will um, take care of all of the, the gravity, all of the forces, all of the motion, everything, everything like that for us. So with our pizza box selected, we're going to go to um, the physics tab and change it from static physics to character physics. So now when we press P, you can see this gravity involved and it will start falling down. So if you've got a character that will move and jump, like a, a humanoid type thing or an animal, then character's great. If you've got a vehicle, then rigid body will be better. Um, you can see the difference with rigid body is um, your object will kind of uh, rotate and, and move around. I think it rotates too much as it is. Um, so to make it a bit more realistic, just so it falls down the slopes, I'm going to go collision bounds, which means it will detect um, whenever it collides with uh, its surroundings on each of the, uh, the faces of this, this box. Okay, um, so now that we've got our, our box moving um, and falling with gravity, it'd be great if we can control it with the arrow keys. So to do that, we're not going to use any Python for this. If you want to learn how to do this in Python, then search for um, Blender Postman Pat um, tutorial, and there's a four-part series on there. The final video shows you how to do this in Python. This is just um, a non-Python way of doing it. So we're going to go into game logic, um, and I'm going to change it so that we can see um, the graphics. And we've got three different types of things on screen here. We've got sensors, controllers, and actuators. Sensors are the things that are going to detect if we press a certain key. So we're going to need four of those. So Shift and A, um, adding a sensor, and I want a keyboard sensor. So I'm going to do that four times, one for each of the directions that we're going to press. So I think I've done three. That's four. Okay. Label the first one forwards um, and then backwards. Um, again, it's a really good idea to label um, everything that you do. This doesn't affect how your game works, it's just good practice. Okay, so we've got forwards, back, left, and right. Then you can select which key the sensor will listen out for. So I'm going to use W for forwards, S for backwards, oops, um, escape to cancel, S for backwards. And then the key for left, I'm going to go for A and D. Oh, I've got one too many. There we go. So forwards, back, left and right. Um, once I've got them, I'm just going to minimise them so they don't take up too much space. So my game will now sense for when I press the keys, but I'm pressing them and, and nothing happens um, because I haven't got any actuators that do anything yet. So Shift and A, let's add four actuators and they're going to be motion act actuators. Um, so four of them, one, two, three, um, four. Uh, and again, I'll label them forwards, oops, forwards, back, left, and right. So to scroll, I'm pushing in the mouse wheel. Um, and you can zoom by scrolling the mouse wheel. OK, so to move, I said I wanted to go in the same direction as this red arrow. So the red arrow is X, so I want a positive number in the, in the X location here. It goes X, Y, and Z. So lock stands for location, rot stands for rotation. Location is where it is in your 3D world. So I'm just going to increase that a little bit. 
I'm going to join up these dots by clicking and dragging. So now if I press P, if I press W to move forwards, um, the pizza box should move in that direction, which is great. Okay, that one's working, I'll minimize that. For back, I just want a negative number in the X location. Let's minimize that, so now it can move forwards and it can move backwards, even though it falls through the ground. We'll fix that in a bit. Um, so for steering, I want it to rotate around that blue line there, which is the Z axis. The blue one is Z. So I can never remember whether it's positive or negative, so I'm just going to guess and say um, that left is going to be a positive number and right is going to be a negative number. Join them up, and if we get it wrong, it doesn't matter, we can always change it round after. So if I press left to steer left, yeah, I got it right, there we go. Um, so now the little pizza box um, can move and steer. So escape to finish. Um, you saw before that um, it's possible to drive through the terrain. Um, so sometimes it goes a little bit dodgy. To stop that from happening, I'm going to make the terrain um, thicker. So I'm going to select it, go back to um, default, and I'm going to give it some depth with um, a, uh, a... I can't find it. Where is it? Um, sorry, my mind has gone blank. Where is it? Oh, a solidify um, uh, modifier. There we go. So the solidify modifier will give a plane some depth. That's what we want. And you can choose how deep it needs to be. It doesn't have to be particularly deep, but I'll apply that so that now it should be much less likely um, that this pizza box will fall through terrain. Okay, so that's it for this video. This, um, in the final video, um, we'll show you how to create um, a little cartoony car that you can drive around, um, or instead, you could just import um, any other model or create any other model and make that drive around instead. Um, so I hope this has been useful. If you can think of a better way of doing it than any of this, please do leave a comment. Um, I hope it's been useful. Thanks for watching.